Hi, I'm Dr. Shipta Singla. I'm Director of Ality and IVF Department at Clown and Hospital, Patpadganj, Delhi. Endometrium is the innermost lining of the uterine cavity. So it has two components. So one is basal layer, other is functional layer. So basal layer, it has a tendency to regenerate the functional layer. So what happens in a one particular menstrual cycle of a female? So the functional layer under the hormonal influence, it gradually thickens so that it helps in the implantation. But if the pregnancy does not happen, this functional layer, it sheds off where the hormones declines in the menses. So for pregnancy to happen, ideal endometrium thickness, we take it as almost 7 to 8 mm. So when we prepare patients for the embryo transfer in any IVF cycle, there are many protocols involved and we select the patients and whatever protocol is best, we prepare the endometrium lining accordingly. So these protocols could be hormone replacement therapy. Here we start the patient on estrogen therapy from day two or day three of the period. We give estrogen in gradually increasing doses till the lining reaches seven or eight mm. Once the lining reaches seven to eight mm, so minimal we give estrogen for at least 10 days. So once lining reaches seven to eight mm, then we start progesterone day three or day five before embryo transfer, depending whether we are transferring day three embryos or blastocyst transfer we are doing. Another protocol is down-regulated HRT cycle. Here before periods, we down-regulate the pituitary gland with the help of some injections or some medication. And from day two, we start the estrogen therapy. And once the lining reaches optimum size, like seven to eight mm, then we give the progesterone three or five days prior to the embryo transfer. Other could be the modified natural cycle or even sometimes we can do natural cycle embryo transfer. Here we follow the menstrual cycle of the females with the help of ultrasound and hormones and once the lining is suitable we do the embryo transfer.